last lesson, you learned the verse and the chorus of the song Beautiful Things by Gunger. And in this lesson, I'm going to show you the main part of the bridge that's just based off of octaves and how to play that. Uh, this is kind of a big part of the song. Let me play it for you and then I'll show you how the whole thing works. So that's the meat of it. Again, it's all based around octaves. So what you want to do first is go to your D octave. Your pointer finger is going to get the A string, fifth fret, which is your D. And then your octave of a D is two frets up, two strings down. So your ring finger will get the third string on the seventh fret. And that's your octave. Now what's nice about this, because you're in drop D tuning, that droning D can apply to every single chord that you play uh, in the scale. And likewise, this D right in the middle can also be in the chord as well to kind of fill it out, which is kind of a cool thing because normally if you're doing octaves, that pointer finger mutes out that string in the middle so you don't hear it because it won't always sound good depending on what key you're in. But if you want to leave those open, you can. Um, I uh, probably out of habit will mute it out. I'll just leave this guy droning you can. So just a slight difference in the sound, but just uh, now you know your options. You probably want to stay away from your first and second strings, your E and your B don't really go well with what's happening here. So once you have your shape, uh, the important thing is to kind of keep it, uh, keep your hands stiff a little bit so you can just slide the shape wherever you want it to go. And what's cool with it is if you keep your eye on your pointer finger, your ring finger should follow and fall into place without having to lift your string, lift your fingers rather than put them back on. So just uh, keep it stiff and then keep your eye on your pointer finger and where that's headed. And from there, you just need to know which frets you go to. So you're going to start in the five, give it three hits, jump all the way up to the nine. So five to nine, back to five. So three hits, three hits, and two hits. Five, nine, five. You're gonna go back to four. Same thing, three hits on four, three hits on nine, two hits on four. Your next section is gonna go to two. Three hits on two, three hits on four. And then your last section, you're going to go all the way up to 10. Your octave's on 12. Two hits there, and then you're going to land with the big, fat D chord. And that's pretty much that whole section, which leads right into the bridge. So I'm going to play it from the beginning. and Go a little slowly. You're going to start in five. So five, nine. Five, four, nine, four, two, four, ten, eight. Try the same thing one more time, starting on five. Five, nine, five, four, nine, four, two, four, ten. there's your D. I'm show you one more thing you can try out if you want to, which is kind of a cool uh, little classical deal. Um, go to your octave back where you started on the fifth. This is a great exercise for your fingers, by the way. Um, just use your first three, your pointer, middle, and ring, and get the fifth, the fourth, the third. Thumb is going to get the low E, or the low D, rather. So they're all clumped together, but you're going to hit your bass note and then come backwards with your fingers, ring, middle, and pointer. So you're starting with your five. 
into four, to two, and then just to a D, which is kind of open. So that's kind of a cool picking pattern, or you can just kind of strum it. And that takes care of your bridge. Um, kind of you have this instrumental build into the bridge. You have kind of a down bridge and it builds up a little bit. It goes back into um, a big chorus with those Ds and actually jumps into some Gs as well. Uh, with the chorus and a couple variations along the way. But for the most part, you should have a good handle on the verse and the chorus of the song from the last lesson and now the instrumental turnaround and the bridge of Beautiful Things by John. <laughs>